Hello YouTube, Sexual Fantasies, How Normal Is It, What Are the Benefits and Harms? Sexual fantasies excite, exacerbate erotic experiences. Sometimes they go beyond the limits of acceptable normality, become the causes of conflicts in a couple. But no matter how boring, devoid of a variety of colors and sensations, our intimate life would be if we did not have sexual fantasies. Can we benefit from the hidden world of erotic dreams? Sexual fantasies sometimes scare people with the power of experiences. They may be deviant, they may contain elements of violence. The fantasies of our partners can give rise to jealousy if other people are present in them, and conflicts if we are not ready to participate in their implementation. And all because people tend to confuse imaginary actions with real ones. At the same time, researchers in the field of sexual behavior responsibly declare that most often sexual crimes are committed by people deprived of imagination, and even convinced monogamists fantasize about sex with the participation of third parties. What and how do people fantasize about? The first sexual fantasies occur during adolescence, on average at 11-12 years of age. Young people aged 24-35 have more varied fantasies than older people. In addition, male fantasies are more diverse than female ones. According to studies conducted at various intervals since 1953, women are generally less likely to fantasize both during masturbation and outside of sexual activities. And during intercourse, both men and women fantasize equally. As a rule, more non-conformist, creative, independent, aggressive and impulsive women have more frequent and varied sexual fantasies than traditionally more feminine ones. At the same time, women's sexual fantasies differ in their content from men's. They are more romantic. In 2018, American sex researcher Justin Lemmer identified seven major sexual fantasies based on a large-scale online survey. The three most common are sex with multiple partners, power or rough sex, and sex associated with novelty and variety. Less common, taboo and forbidden sex, voyeurism, fetishism, exhibitionism, non-monogamous sex, fantasies about another partner, passion and romance, sex with feelings, erotic flexibility, in particular, homoeroticism and rejection of gender roles. Lemmer also noted that most men's fantasies have an emotional component. Women's fantasies were unexpectedly bolder than expected, including bondage and sadomasochism, both in submissive and dominant roles, and group sex, but not as much as in male fantasies. Men are more likely to fantasize about a particular person and are more likely to imagine taboo sex. They are also more likely than women to fantasize about abandoning traditional gender roles, cross-dressing, sex with a transgender partner, gender reassignment. In 2018, Ukrainian sexologists also conducted research among our compatriots. They found that one of the most common sexual fantasies is role-playing games, and in general, the sexual fantasies of Ukrainians can be divided into two categories vanilla, tender and romantic, and BDSM, dominance and submission. Of the role-playing games, the game teacher and student is called classic, and one of the most striking is Doctor's Appointment. Vanilla Royal Fantasy was named as a favorite female fantasy, in which a woman imagines herself living in luxury, and a man pleases his beloved. Our men also fantasize about their role as henpecked, they also highlight the fantasy of couples about a harem in which a woman wants to be the best and please her sultan. The BDSM theme has become more and more dominant in the minds of Ukrainians. Sexologists note that men want to dominate sex, and women want to experiment. 50% of women, according to this study, are aroused by hardcore sex fantasies. A survey of our compatriots also showed that most sexual fantasies remain unrealized. Are sexual fantasies normal? Z. Freud and some of his followers believed that sexual fantasies are the result of sexual dissatisfaction, immaturity, 
repression, masochism and unconscious sexual conflicts, especially in women. Currently, on the contrary, the absence of these is considered a pathology. There is evidence to suggest that people who have more active sex lives have more sexual fantasies. At the same time, the frequency of sexual fantasies has a positive effect on sexual satisfaction in women. But in men, an interesting pattern is observed, the level of testosterone has a greater influence on the occurrence of fantasies about sex than on the ability to develop an erection. That's what fans of testosterone machos will be surprised at. The origin of sexual fantasies is completely different, and there are no good or bad fantasies. Someone is running away from reality, someone wants to break the taboo, someone is driven by the desire for diversity and experimentation. Some were influenced by pornography, while others developed their fantasies from childhood experiences. Role of Sexual Fantasies 1. Thoughts about sex can increase sexual desire and arousal. This can help bring back the attraction if it has subsided for some reason. 2. Sexual desires allow you to feel sexy, desired by a woman or a desired man. For example, when a woman fantasizes about rape, it is not always because she enjoys suffering. In her imagination, a bunch may arise, I'm so amazing, sexy, desirable that he can't help it, so he jumped on me. 3. Sexual fantasies can help you relax and break free from stereotypes. For example, a woman brought up in religious values may, with the help of fantasies of male dominance, give responsibility for her sin to her partner. 4. Forbidden sexual fantasies help you get to know your dark subpersonalities, release the blocked energy by allowing herself to secret desires. With the help of fantasies, this happens safely for yourself and others. 5. Sexual fantasies help diffuse anxiety. 6. Fantasizing can become a rehearsal for the upcoming intimacy, allowing you to feel calmer and more confident. This is especially true for people with little sexual experience. When sexual fantasies are harmful. 1. It can become a problem when a person experiences a pronounced sense of guilt due to the presence of sexual fantasies especially if a person fantasizes not about his partner. Shame and fear can also arise if fantasies violate internal taboos. In this case, it is not the fantasies themselves that harm, but the inability to cope with guilt, shame and fear. 2. Sexual fantasies should be treated with caution when they completely replace the sexual act. In this case, it is still recommended to decide to meet with real people. Three. Sexual fantasies also cause alertness when a person begins to confuse fantasy and reality. Sexual fantasies in medical practice. Sexologists recommend that couples who have a decrease in attraction to each other, before the upcoming intimacy, turn on their fantasies, which increase sexual desire and sexual arousal. To increase the duration of sexual intercourse, on the contrary, it is recommended to use non-sexual fantasies. These can be landscapes that carry a negative emotional connotation. Some men with erectile dysfunction are advised to imagine their wife as she was in her youth. Sexual fantasies are also used in the correction of deviant and criminal behavior on sexual grounds. For example, in the treatment of pedophiles. The techniques of orgasmic reorientation and oversaturation with masturbation are used. Orgasmic reorientation is aimed at increasing sexual desire at the sight of adult women. In these cases, pedophilic fantasies are combined with masturbation, and when an orgasm approaches, a person switches to images of adult women. A bunch of fantasy about adult women, orgasm can contribute to the development of normal sexual desire. In the masturbation glut technique, masturbation is first directed to heterosexual porn material, and after orgasm is continued to pedophilic stimuli. These fantasies occur during the refractory period, the decline in arousal after orgasm, which causes discomfort after orgasm. Thank you for your time and attention listening to me. 
Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also click the bell sign to be informed about new videos. Have a great day.